Maldives is about 1,200 islands and we are just about a meter above sea level, which makes us one of the most climate vulnerable countries in the entire world. We contribute about 0.003% of global greenhouse gases. Despite how small we are and how negligent our contribution to global climate change, we still want to be part of the solution. Climate change is now recognized as an existential threat to the Maldives. It not only hinders our developmental projects, but also affects the people's livelihoods. We spend about 10% of our GDP on importing fuel to our country. Being a small island nation, that makes it extremely vulnerable to global energy shocks and volatile markets out there. So for us, it makes climate sense as well, but also economic sense for us to transition our economy as quickly as possible. Our government announced that we would want to become net zero by 2030, and I think this makes us one of the most ambitious mitigation targets in the world. Now, Maldives has set a very ambitious climate change goal of net zero by 2030. Hundreds of millions of dollars are required. And I must tell you, World Bank doesn't have that money. Climate Investment Fund have, doesn't have that money. You know who has that much money? Private sector investment. In partnership with several partners, including Climate Investment Fund, we designed a risk mitigation framework. We are here to give the investor confidence. We have been able to attract much more private sector investments and also much cheaper PPAs, and it's continuing to fall. We have leveraged funds from our developmental partners and other interested parties uh, to carry out multiple solar PV projects. The help of World Bank and some other donor agencies, we are installing in pipeline, there is, I think, 40 megawatts. So we are doing quite a lot for achieving that goal 2030. Working together with the private sector, SIF has invested about $65 million, but it has brought in over $300 million for our renewable energy sector. We've seen in the case of Maldives, it's been responsible for bringing in development and climate change into one nexus, and it's helped leverage and provide comfort to other partners, whether public or private, whether guarantees or other instruments, to create a critical mass of financing a platform by which we can make a difference. SIF delivers a possibility to innovate, a possibility to leverage financing for climate, a possibility to bring in the private sector, and a possibility to begin the energy transition. There's a lot that's going on, and it's really the beginning, I think, of the transition for the whole country. Maldives is sending a message to the world that we can combat climate change. We, as a small country, can be carbon neutral. If they can do it, other countries can do it as well.